This is from the parking lot. The Palatine Tea Party for the 4th of July. There's quite a few people. And uh, we're going to try and see if we can find a few signs. Spread my work ethic, not my wealth. Is it 1984? Packing up already. Thank God I'm retired. So can I ask you what your sign is for? George Orwell, 1984. <laughs> I'm a blogger, so I'm putting together some video, and um, so I just was hoping that you would be willing to talk about it, but that... Explains it all. Pardon? It explains it all here. Thank you. Can you ladies tell me what your signs are for? They aren't self-explanatory. Well, I'd like you to talk about it a little bit. <laughs> Government works for us, not the opposite. That's Stop right. the corruption, greed, and pork. Cut pork, cut spending, cut the deficit. No to... He's the uh, transnationalist lawyer from, uh, I think he's the dean of Harvard, who's just been nominated to go to the Justice Department. Oh, terrific. And he believes that we should follow the laws of other countries. Anything else? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's plenty of us, but I want start. you to talk about it, not me. <laughs> All right. Big business got bailed out. Taxpayers got nailed for all the expense of it. And read the bills before you sign them. Well, that means that the they should be submitted before the vote. Absolutely. Well, they are. But and if well, they, three in the morning before the if, vote. If they aren't, then refuse to vote until it's had a chance to be read. Obama said do, they were going to be available be two weeks before the vote. Yeah. We signed a document that we know as the Declaration of Independence. At the time, though, it was a death warrant for those men, and they don't teach that in the schools, the courage that it took for them to sign that piece of paper. When they signed that piece of paper, what they were in, what they were guaranteeing is that the most awesome military in the world at that time was going to hunt them down, burn them out of their houses, and kill them. And that's exactly what happened to more than a few of them. I'm not asking anybody here today to do that, okay? But what I am saying is that we have to do something. And I've got at least two ideas. I might actually come up with a few more if you, if, uh, before I'm done. But uh, by one is we have to have, we have to have an entire reform slate of candidates from top to bottom to run in the Republican primary. Conservative reform, real Republican conservative reform. Exactly. And the other thing that we need to do is exactly what we're doing here today. And this is a great start. And again, thank you, Craig, for bringing us out here in this beautiful park on the 4th of July. But I'm telling you that Todd Stroger cannot hear us here today. Pat Quinn cannot hear us here today. And chances are, unless they watch my show, they're not going to hear that this even occurred. So what I'm proposing is that every week 
we have a tea party wherever these people go. Next Tuesday, there's a Cook County Board meeting. Todd Stroger's gonna be there. 10 a.m., the county building in downtown Chicago, the se Tuesday the 7th. I would love to see every single person here at that county board meeting on Tuesday with a sign that just simply says, pay your own taxes. I'm going to be there, and it would really suck if I'm all by myself. <laughs> the next time Pat Quinn goes somewhere and says that it's absolutely imperative that we wring every penny out of your pockets, I suggest that we go there and have a tea party and tell him that the only way the state should ever have revenue is if we have enough money to live in the state. What we need to do in 2010 is reform this state, okay? I'm li I've lived in the state my whole life. I love the state of Illinois. I want to see this state redeemed in the eyes of the rest of this country. We need to reform this state, we need to rebuild this state, and we need to redeem this state. I truly believe that if we all, just the very, each and every one of the people here today will do that much, we will change this state. We will, in, a, in effect, have the opportunity to, to change the United States of America and ultimately the world. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Paul Mitchell. George Washington famously said, the government cannot work without reference to God in the Bible. John Adams famously said, that our constitution is intended for the governments of a moral people and will suffice for no other. Well, I say that to tax a people into destitution is immoral. I say that to tax a, that to disarm a free people is immoral. In the last eight months since the election in Longer, I've heard a great deal of talk about what is conservatism? What is a conservative? I'll give you a short answer. Three issues you'll find. Wherever you find wherever you find tyranny, you will find economic depression you will find a culture of death That's right. and you will find no freedom. Right. To be a conservative means to oppose tyranny, to stand for liberty, to stand for a culture of life. My name is Paul Mitchell. I know you don't know who I am, so I'm going to say that again. My name is Paul Mitchell and I'm running for state representative up in Lake County. I'm a Republican, the primary is in February, so I don't have much time, really. I have no organization, no experience, no name recognition, no volunteers, and no money. So you're my people. How's it going? All right. There you go. All right. Now, if you'd like to donate to my campaign, my treasure's right over there with the hand-lettered vote to Paul sign. All right. William Kelly said that we need to have a, a slate of conservative candidates from the top to the bottom. And I couldn't agree more. I will be one of those candidates. Woohoo! I think we've got far too much government. Um, keep your hands off my money and my guns. One of the, my favorite sayings. Yes, very good. You know. Very good, yeah. I think you're in good company. I think yes, I believe so. We're all kind of on the same page. I like when the family's together, we're all sitting around talking. Yeah. Nobody disagrees. Right. It's no fun. We're the people disagree. Where's the press? 